Hello and welcome back to Provost Gaming and EU4 Common Sense Scotland. So we finished our war with Norway, we grew a fair little bit, painting the map yellow, and in the meantime we are working to deal with our uh, inevitable rebellions, especially from the Catholics, but possibly the English and the Norwegians as well, and we are working to up our religious unity, which is currently at uh, 41%, a mere 41%. But, once we're able to get that over 50%, I believe the looming disaster that is currently developing will go away. Also, it looks like we have overextension issues for our civil war. So, the sooner we deal with the, uh, <laughs> the sooner we can deal with the overextension, the better. But I'm working on it. We're coring those provinces. We're coring them up good. Coring them up good. We do have a fair bit of money that I should probably consider investing a little bit. Um, any buildings I consider worthwhile? Uh, nothing really jumps out of me there. Workshop. No. Barracks, stocks, marketplace. Nah, nothing exciting. Oh, we are really far behind in our naval force limit, though. Okay, that would actually be a worthwhile use of our money. Sure, let's build some more trade ships. We'll use the eastern seaboard that uh, of the British Isles that I use to develop my sh shipyards. That should uh, make things a little bit cheaper and faster. We can build... 11 safely. So let's build 11 of those. What about my force limits? Eh, we can afford to build one more cannon. Sure, why not? We'll build one more cannon, and I still have a teensy weensy bit of money left over. I'll hold on to that for a rainy day, and let's resume the game. Doo -doo 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 -doo. How are this the fleet doing? I'm worried that uh, if they are in fact transporting my units through the North Sea, that this uh, fleet is taking attrition without me realizing it. Is it just me, or does that feel entirely possible? It does kind of feel pop. Yeah, see, 8% attrition in the North Sea. So if this ticks over to the next month right now... Yep, look at that. Wow, okay. So for whatever reason, the North Sea is a danger zone, and if the fleet just happens to be caught in the North Sea as the month switches over, they will take 8, now 10% attrition. Alright, that's a little bit problematic for me. Uh, I, I probably should consider letting them dock up, or at least be paying attention, so that they uh, don't get caught there in the transition between months. Alright, we did convert the Western Isles. Let us begin the conversion of uh, Essex, I guess. Sure, why not? Essex seems reasonable. See, they won't be caught in the North Sea at the transition of this month, so they won't actually take any attrition. That is just weird. I don't think I understand or appreciate that. Yeah, before they get caught again, I'm just going to leave them in Norfolk to rebuild. Eh, the Norfolk shipyard should take good care of them. We can afford to get our last quantity idea. So we'll pick up minus 10% land attrition, which is good. That will preserve our manpower a little bit. Also, for finishing quantity ideas, we get a whopping 50% land force limit modifier. Oh my gosh. So that means our force limit goes up to what? 50. 50. Holy crap, that is amazingly good. All right. But I don't know if I'm going to build all those right away. I'm in no rush. It's not like I have any particularly troublesome neighbors to worry me right now, right? <laughs> no, not at all. Nonetheless, though, it's nice to know. Ooh, look at that. Austria enacted a, an imperial reform. Actually, I think that's the second one. That's not the first one, is it? It is the second one. Institute Reichsregiment. Reichsregiment? I don't know, but apparently the Emperor gets an extra diplomat and diplomat re diplomatic reputation. All members get minus two national unrest. The HRE is kind of amazing. It's really complex, and the aggressive expansion is killer. But it is kind of on the amazing side. Really fun, I think. Anyways, you who, all right. Why are we losing money now? Um, Not losing much in reinforcement. Why am I spending this much money? Is it the missionary? Must be because I'm rebuilding the navy. Rebuilding these shipyards, repairing them. Yeah, that would make sense. Huh. <laughs> Alright, well I'm still missing all of my cannons that I wanted. So let's go ahead and... I mean, they repaired enough. I think we're alright. Let's continue to transport all 10,000 cannons over to Lincoln. And uh, we'll be ready for whatever rebels come our way. Catholic Zealots. One year, they say. Lothian, Ayrshire, Fife, Aberdeen, Highlands. Those are all in proper Scotland. 
So in theory, that means that all Catholics should spawn in one or two or three of these provinces. But I don't think that that means that they will spawn anywhere in Norway. Which serves my purposes just fine, because I would really rather not deal with that. I haven't even cored those provinces yet. But in theory, in theory it should work. Austria declared war on Ferrara. Oh, poor Ferrara. Wait, you're occupied by Tuscany already. Oh, but you picked up Venezia. When did that happen? Alright, looks like Austria is about to pick up a really important province. Interesting. Tuscany is kicking freaking butt. Look at them. I mean, they've, they've completely occupied, I think that's pronounced Lucha in Italian, I think. I could be wrong, though. Ferrara, the Papal State is full occupied. Good grief, Tuscany. Go, man, go! I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Uh, we need to get these ships out and about. Where's the one that was over here? Wasn't there one in Norfolk? Yes, there is. Couldn't find you for a minute there. Uh, let's see. Need to select this fleet, but I don't want the transports. Group them up. I want them to go and patrol the English Channel and join up with the rest of the fleet. And we should march north a little bit, because we are up to 90% on our Catholic Zealots. Uh, looks like our... Center of Refor Reformation is finally doing some work in Northumberland. That's good. So it should start adding to our religious unity. Well, finally, I mean, f sure. First it decided, hey, let's get full religious unity for England and Connaught and Cornwall. Then we'll start working on the people that actually gave birth to us. Makes perfect sense, Center of Reformation. You know how much trouble I went to to get you? I lost 100 prestige. So pain. All right, we got Essex converted. I think this fleet is done. So let's go ahead and let them... I guess we could just mothball them for the time being. It's not like I need them immediately. Uh, we should also start converting the next province. I guess we'll start working on Norfolk. Get a little bit more religious unity. What are we looking at now? 50% religious unity. So the only, the only looming disaster we now have is the Civil War, and that's because of the overextension. So, yes. Okay. Good. Good. So that means that um, the religious civil disorder is officially over. Excellent. Alright, I didn't want to have to worry about that. Makes me feel a whole lot better. Oh, Flanders? Have you decided to declare war on Burgundy yet again? It does look like you have. Actually, it looks like you're the defender against Hainaut. Hello, Hainaut. Who's involved in all this war? Mm, Burgundy, Hanat, and Aiken versus Liege, Bar, Flanders, and England. Actually, I'm curious. Does that... Flanders is allied to Oldenburg, Liege, and Utrecht. So how did England get involved in this war? On their side. They must... Okay, so Hanat must have... Uh, well, who's your ally? Liege. So Hanat must have co-belligerized Liege, and as a result, they brought England into the war as well. I'm not strictly sure what you thought you were going to accomplish there, Hanat. I mean, yes, England is weak as heck, thanks to my efforts, but still, that's a bit... That's a bit risky. Oh, well. Oh, well. Such is the way of things. Come on, Catholic zealots. You know you want to spawn. I'm going to march up to Fife. It's a good central location for Scotland proper, where they should be spawning. Should be. It's a little bit difficult to predict at times, I admit. Oh, good. So the next round uh, has been completed. We are currently converting Cumbria, thanks to the Center of Reformation. Honestly, as soon as these cores are done... Well, actually, maybe we should start working on converting some of the Norwegian provinces now. Just because I know... I'm pretty darn sure that the Center of Reformation will finish off all of my British Isles provinces. I'm not sure that they're going to be smart enough to go all the way for the far, far away Norwegian provinces. They may start converting some of France or Provence instead. So if that's the case, I can probably leave the British Isles to them. And I'll just start converting Norway uh, myself. The old-fashioned way. There's nothing wrong with the old-fashioned way. It's the old-fashioned way for a reason. One, because we left it behind, but two, because it was very fashionable. Oh good, the next ship is done. Send you to join the English Channel. Doop 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 Send you to join the English Channel. Oh, I see you hiding in there. I'll send you as well. We should have another one coming up, yes? Pretty soon, looks like Norfolk is a little bit slower. Oh, 
Truce expired with Friesland. Well, that's nice. I still have no interest in going to war with them quite yet, but it's still nice nonetheless. Doop. Doop. All right. Goody, goody, gumdrop. Cannot. what happened to your morale? Did you just convert tech up? Maybe you did. Tech level nine? Was that when you got some uh, fresh units? Yes, it was. So you just uh, got up to tech level nine and um, improved your unit type. Well, good for you. Good for my little vassal. It won't save you from being, uh, it won't save you from being annexed, but still. Lack of protection. Our determination to embrace free trade has led to domestic merchants losing out on rivals from other countries. Diplo power or absent merchant minus 10 power in champagne. I don't care about champagne. It's fine with me. We have converted Norfolk. So yeah, let's go ahead and start converting Agder. Agder's already got some troops present to lower the uh, revolt chance. So we are up to a 60% revolt risk, though. Hmm, a little unfortunate. I think that'll come down a little bit, though, as uh, time goes on. We might actually be able to completely avoid a Norwegian rebellion. That would be nice. Would be very nice, but we'll see. I'm just waiting for these Catholic zealots. They're taking their sweet time. Oh, nope, wait, wait. There they are, Lothian and Ayrshire. All right, who do you want to stomp on first? I guess we'll stomp on the closest one. We have 11,000 infantry and 1,000 cavalry. That's not much, but it's enough to hold the front line for 10,000 cannons. That doesn't look like 10,000 cannons to me. What are you talking about? Is that, no, that is actually 10 cannons. I just had to count them for a minute. All right, well, we ha should be able to uh, break their morale down pretty quickly. Rolling a nine against the zero is also good. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Sad that we're gonna lose a little bit of men, but um, not too much. Well, I say not too much. We lost about 4,500. But still, that deals with them just fine. Let's recover for a little bit, and then we'll go and stomp on Cumbria. Now, it was fortunate that he decided to go for my forts rather than stick in Ayrshire, where he could have gotten a pretty quick one-month siege. So I'm not in a rush, basically. He took his time, he went for the fort, and he's gonna pay the price. Fine with me. Fine with me. Who are Sami? Finnmark. Finnmark is a different culture group? Yes, they are. Oh, that's interesting. Let's take a quick look at the cultural map mode. Huh. Norwegian. Sami. Swedish. Is it Sami? Sami? Samia. I don't know how it's pronounced. Finnish. Huh. Why would you look at that? You know, one thing we could do, honestly, is uh, we could go to look at Finnmark, and we actually could change the culture of the province. It would cost me some diplomatic power, and it would take a long time. But we could simply eliminate them as a cultural problem, because they're never going to be an accepted culture. I mean, that's, that's a guarantee. They just never will be large enough in order to do that. So I could just eliminate the revolt chance from them entirely by making them a Scottish culture. It's basically genocide. Yes, I acknowledge that. But it is effective genocide. Genocide is evil, kids. Don't take me too seriously when I say things like that, alright? This is a game, after all. You think that's crazy? You should watch what happens in CK2, Crusader Kings 2. My gosh, the things you can do. Alright, do we want to take the diplomatic technology, which would upgrade our ships? Ooh, I wish I had a lot of money sitting around. Colonial range, yeah. I mean, we don't have any ideas. There's no reason not to take it right now. So yeah, we'll take it. Uh, we should actually go stomp on them before they have a chance of taking the fort, because they're at a 14% chance. And we are fully recovered. So let's squish them a little bit. Rolling a zero again? Seriously? Glenn McTaggart! You are a disappointment unto me. Oh, I saw that nine, but it was way too little too late. Way too little too late. All right. We probably should actually lower our army maintenance now. A little bit. I'm not going to eliminate it entirely because I want to continue reinforcing, but uh, let's let's stop this bleed of money, shall we? Yeah. How are we looking as far as the trade map mode is concerned now? 45% of the English Channel is under our control, so we are the dominant power. Holland falling behind. Uh, for the North Sea, we are the dominant power there as well, although the Hansa, surprisingly, has a good amount of trade power. They don't have any provincial trade power, so it won't do them any good, but... Huh, that's interesting. But we're not really retaining any money in the North Sea. We're pushing all of it forward into the English Channel. All 3.55 ducats minus the 0.94 that is being sent off to Lubick. Hmm. Still, seems to work out for me. Once we have cored these provinces, though, uh, yep, Agder's done. 
Let's move forward to the Bergen Shoes. Actually, where is that? Bergen Shoes, Bergen Shoes. Let's start working on you right away. Only nine months. Won't be too long. Anyways, Ahu. Yeah. So, um, once these are finished coring, I think we can see the rest of the provincial trade power really come into swing in the North Sea Trade Node. But interestingly, yeah, Hansa, because they are a downstream node, actually has a reasonable amount of trade power in that region. Not nearly as much as me, but they actually do have some. Fascinating. Uh, looks like the cannon finally was built. It took a long time, but it did happen. How are we doing as far as our force limits are concerned? We have finished building all of our ships, that's good. We could build some more troops, but uh, I think I'll let them just reinforce for a little bit. We need another 3,500. Well, actually, no. Well, hmm. No. Do I need to build more? What am I saying? Of course I should, right? But eh, let's take the next level of admin tech. Ooh, once we get up to level 10, we can unlock another idea group. And theocracy, interestingly enough. We could convert to a theocracy, technically. But yeah, another idea group would be good. We could start unlocking exploration ideas. I would want to get an administrative idea group. I really would. But I think if we are going to play the exploration game, and we are, then we absolutely need to do it sooner rather than later. We're a little bit late into that game. For all I know, South America has been almost entirely uh, populated by Portugal and Castile. Who knows how long until the uh, North American continent is getting colonized as well. I'd be very sad if I missed out on that. Very sad indeed. Very sad indeed. Flanders, how goes your tiny little war? It's pretty much a stalemate at this point. Technically, you have a little bit of something. The fact that you have your own capital is pretty much all it takes, but, uh... Fascinating. Alright. I guess we just wait. We're almost done coring our provinces. We are up to 86.3% complete with uh, the annexation of Kanat. Would love to have that finished. We could build some buildings. But I don't think there's really anything we want to build, is there? I guess we could build another shipyard, but meh. Docks to get the extra naval force limit would take 210 ducats. I don't have that. Barracks. Any substantial gains in manpower? No. No, not really. Nope. I think we just sit tight. Sit tight for a little bit of a little while. Uh, National Epic expired. Well, that's unfortunate. That was the one where James Stewart the... No, wait. Robert Stewart the second or whatever was like our messiah. In, gr in times of need, he would sweep in and save Scotland from the English quote-unquote threat. There we go. Core's done there. That means that the looming disaster for our civil war is officially over. It got up to... what? 87%. Hmm. I would love to understand why the Civil War doesn't tick down. This means that the next time we get overextended, a Civil War could actually become a problem for us. In theory. I don't understand that at all. I think that's stupid. I think that's remarkably stupid. But it's a thing. It's a thing coded into the game. Uh, Haugaland and Finnmark. And Siva, Bergenschus. Let's see how uh, how much this uh, revolt risk changes once we finish coring those territories. The old alliance in France, Scotland in 1512, I should say, renewed their old alliance. I'm sure that's supposed to be old, but it's old. As a counterbalance to England's involvement in the anti-French schemes of Pope Julius II, this later drew the Scottish into a disastrous war against the English. Do we want good relations with France? England will hate me, but we like each other more. Or, we have nothing to do with France and England likes us. Screw England! Of course we want good relations with France. Revolt, huh? Uh-oh. Gannat's gonna lose that one. Let's, uh, bump up the army maintenance again. We'll go stomp on your rebels for you, Gannat. I don't want to deal with them. But yeah, France. Okay, that means we should be nice friends for a while. The old alliance. Does that even pop up on this, uh, screen yet? I don't even see it on here. Good relations. That must be it. Plus 50? Minus one yearly? Having yeah, good. This uh, decreases the risk of France getting upset at us for some reason, so... Yeah, okay. We'll hold on to that. That came at pretty good time. Bergen Shoes has been converted. Let's start working on... Well, let's take a quick look-see. 
It's Siva and Hologaland. I'll start converting uh, Ed Siva. I'm going to move the army over there to reduce the revolt risk. What's the force limit look like? 18, we should be fine. Supply limit is what I mean to say. Uh, it's only four. And, our, ooh, look at that. Our, um, our truce has just ended. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and claim Oxfordshire again because that just expired. Let's stomp on these rebels real quick. We have finished coring all the territory. All the things are done. That's excellent. We can go ahead and reduce our army maintenance a little bit again. And next time, we're going to have to seriously consider declaring war on England immediately. Ooh boy, that would be exciting. So exciting. But that'll have to wait till next time. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Promise with EU4 Common Sense. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs>